Hey guys, so today we're going to look at how you can um, visualize the location of your users in Google Analytics. If you're familiar with Google Analytics, you may have been to the geography report before. Uh, to get there, we would go to audience, then geo, and then location. And this gives you this nice map visual of where all of your sessions have originated. So where in the world they've been. You could also change this over to a city view and you have this nice little almost heat map of where the bulk of your visitors are coming from. Um, another really cool feature of this report is that you can drill into specific countries. So let's say I'm only interested in the United States because that seems to be where the bulk of my traffic is coming from. By selecting the United States, I'm now looking at a state by state view. So I can see most of my traffic is coming from California. And of course, if I wanna look at a city or a metro to get a little bit more granular, I can do that. So the question then becomes, how can you segment your visits to a certain section of your website or visits um, by device type or visits from a certain traffic source? And there's a number of different ways that you can do that. Um, I'm going to walk through that right now. The um, Probably the easiest way to go about doing this is to apply a segment. At the top of your screen, you'll see it's set to all users. And you could click on that area to basically select a, a different segment. And um, Google Analytics will come preloaded with several options. Um, let's say I only want to look at my mobile traffic. So I'm going to select mobile traffic. I'm going to deselect all users. Hit apply. And now we see that mobile visitors tend to come from the San Francisco, Oakland area in this instance. If you want to do a side-by-side -side comparison between two sets of uh, segments, you can do that. So let's say I want to compare mobile traffic compared to desktop. We're going to look at tablet and desktop. And we see a side-by-side -side comparison. Sometimes you'll see some differences in this view. Let's say I only want to see visits to a certain section of my website. Maybe it's an important product offering, or maybe it's a service that I have. Um, how can we do that? This is where you need to get a little bit creative. So I'm going back to a global view, for starters. I'm going to go to Add Segment, and I'm going to create a new segment by pressing this red button. Now, prior to doing this, you would need to go to your behavior content reports, and you would probably want to create custom content groupings uh, to pull together like content. So in the case of um, an e-commerce website, a, a good use case there might be all of my uh, men's clothing categories. And I'll show you what that would look like. I would go to conditions, and I would start to narrow this down to my content groupings. And I see that I have a clothing by gender content group, product categories content group, a brand's content group. I want to only, let's say I only want to look at visits to men's clothing. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to say clothing by gender contains, I'm going to select men's. And I'm going to call this um, segment content group men's clothing. Now I'm going to click Save, and before I hit Save, this is telling me that this segment is going to represent about 28.63% of my users. Okay, with that segment applied, I am now looking at the, the country view. And of my um, sessions who visited the, that set of content, uh, men's clothing, we see, once again, it's primarily in the United States. Um, and we see that this entire report has been restricted to um, only sessions that viewed that content. And I just switched over to City View, and I see that that still works. So this is one way to do it if you want to just get the data really quick. Um, if you um, do want to see this on a recurring basis, the better way may be to create either a custom report or a custom dashboard. So I'm going to show you that really quick. So within, um, within this view, I'm going to go ahead and click Add to Dashboard. And I'm going to create a new dashboard. And I'm going to call this 
Geo. Now you have to select if you want both the map and the table. So I'm going to select both. And let's just click to edit, and this is where I could relabel it. So if I want to have a different title, I can do that here. Now this is a little bit hard to see, so I'm going to drag that over here. I think I'm going to change my layout so it's full width because I want to get that nice clear map. So now I have the map on the top and I have the table below. Um, the problem is that this is now reverted back to all users. So if I want to once again apply that content grouping, I would have to go back to add segment and um, find the segment I just created, men's grouping. Um, we'll remove this one, hit apply. Now the challenge here is that every time you want to come back to the dashboard, if you only want to see this category, you would have to apply that segment over and over again. Um, so what's another way that we could do that so we don't have to keep applying that segment? I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And I'm going to go to my widget and I'm going to click the little edit icon. Now this is where all my settings appear. So I've selected GeoMap and the, the metric that I'm plotting is city and it's breaking it down by sessions. So the cities that have the most sessions are going to have the largest dot. Um, but what I can do is actually apply a filter. So I'm going to go to add filter for um, custom dimensions. I'm going to select my content grouping and I'm going to find um, clothing by gender. And once again, I'm going to type in men's and we'll click save. Now this view has been um, restricted to only sessions to those particular pages. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for this table down below. So just to give you an example right now, it's telling me um, uh, for Mountain View, California, we had 3,989 sessions. Let's see how that number changes once I apply this filter. So once again, I click Add Filter. I'm going to look for that content grouping, which is um, clothing by gender, type in men's, and then we'll hit save. And we see the numbers are significantly lower. Instead of 3,000 for Mountain View, we only had 156, and it turns out that New York is now our top city. So this dashboard is now saved. You don't have to go back and reconfigure that over and over again. Um, if you do want to um, share it with other people, you can. You would just click share and you'd get the template link. If you want it to be visible to everybody who has access to your Google Analytics account, you would click Share in Solutions Gallery. And then that would appear um, over here in public, um, under Shared, I mean. Another thing that you could do, which is pretty helpful, you could have this um, get sent to you on a weekly or a monthly or a daily basis um, by just setting up this email report setting. Um, and you could actually uh, put a limit to how long you would like this to be active. So that's how you would do it. Um, and of course, if you want to, you could add some additional widgets. Um, let's say you want to have one map that shows uh, sessions to your men's clothing pages and another uh, map that shows sessions to your uh, women's clothing. That's something that you could do here uh, following those same steps and basically adding that filter to every widget. So that's how you do it. Hope you found it helpful. Thank you very much.